Uh, my name is Tom Miller. I'm Supervisor of Preschool Services at Perkins School for the Blind. I'm here to offer you a little bit of an overview of a concept called active learning, which was developed by Dr. Lily Nielsen from Denmark. Uh, two of the main references for that are a book that she wrote called Space and Self and another book called The Comprehending Hand. Active learning is a method of teaching young children with multiple disabilities, deaf blindness, or young children with visual impairments about how to interact with and be actively involved with their environment. Many times children with multiple disabilities, including those with deaf blindness, have limited range of motion or limited opportunities to explore their world. Uh, the lack of vision or decrease in visual awareness creates a boundary in a sense where a, a child does not know how far to reach out to obtain objects, they don't know to move to objects as a child with sight might be able to do. The little room is what Lily Nielsen calls it, um, and this is a, an activating play environment for young children with visual impairments and deaf blindness. We have made, developed a modification of the little room called the active learning play space, and we'll explain the differences, but the key part about that is the philosophy of what Dr. Nielsen tries to portray relative to um, why you create an active learning environment for children with multiple disabilities, deaf blindness, or visual impairments. The focus around the active learning environment is to create a border or a small space in which a child moves and provide an environment in which they can achieve a frame of reference concerning both spatial relations, reaching and grasping behaviors, and provide them with opportunities to actually explore and expand their world.